Hey, what's up guys, Winston here. Uh, I just want to ask any of you guys into water cooling and have you ever water cooled your RAM? Well, today we'll be taking a quick look at the uh, Thermaltake Water RAM RGB DDR4 3200 memory kit. Just a short message. This video was made possible thanks to Funky Media. You can support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and by clicking on the affiliated links down below. If you're planning to make a purchase, why not visit our Amazon store uh, to find some great bargains. Thanks for your attention and enjoy the video. The Water RAM RGB is a liquid cool memory kit from Thermaltake and comes in two modules of 8GB, giving you a total size of 16GB. These memory modules are rated to run at DDR4 3200 and operates on a voltage of 1.35 volts with a memory timing of uh, 16, 18, 18 and 38. They are compatible with the uh, XMP 2.0 profiles and should run on the majority of motherboards. But the main thing about these memory kits is the water cooling part. It comes with an integrated high performance water block uh, with the copper base. You can control the RGB using the TT software uh, which you can download from the website and it should give you a total of 16 million colors. You can use these memory kits the uh, traditional way by slotting them in and just powering it in the system. Or you can actually uh, put the RGB water block uh, to give you that extra uh, cooling uh, performance as well as lighting effects. So let's do a quick unboxing and then put these RAM into our test system and see how it performs. We'll see you in a bit. All right, so let's do a quick unboxing. This is the uh, Thermaltake Water RAM RGB liquid cooling memory. It's the uh, DDR4 3200 uh, 16 gig kit. All right, here we go. It's a nice packaging right here. Um, you got the two modules right there. Uh, there are 32 gig kits. Um, I suppose then there's four modules of the 8 gig. This one is 16 gig, uh, two modules of 8 gig. Uh, there you have the uh, the actual water block for the RAM. Let's take the uh, RAM out. Here you go, there's one module and the other one here. Right, so very nice modules. Quite uh, heavy, weightier with the heat sink, the copper heat sink. And uh, it wraps right around the actual module itself. Um, very nice quality, nice feel to it as well. The modules do not have any RGB itself, uh, so you can use them as they are um, with no RGB, but a nice heat sink that will uh, be efficient if you just want to use these as they are. Um, all right, so these are the modules itself. Uh, these are the 32 uh, DDR4 3200 uh, with the uh, uh, memory times of 16, 18, 18, and 30. Uh, six, there we go. All right, let's have a look at the uh, RGB copper block here, water block. Uh, very nice. It has uh, two parts to it. You've got the uh, thermal pads that uh, kind of that kind of sticks here. You mount this water block onto the actual RAM itself. Uh, it has uh, the G quarter thread right here. Um, that should fit most fittings for your water cooling components. And then uh, you notice there's uh, four holes here and also on each side. Um, that will secure this onto the ramp itself. This will then fit on top. And uh, you notice there's holes at the top of the ramp here, which you need then to put the screws in. That's including inside the, uh, the package. All right. Okay, so obviously it has the RGB connector wire here and then inside here you'll have all the components which includes the, uh, the RGB controller, the uh, cabling and the mounts for mounting the uh, water block. Yep, so here you've got some more instructions. This is the uh, 
RGB cable which connects the copper border block onto the uh, cable. Then the thermal take controller, RGB controller. Then you need a load of uh, cables to connect that, uh, Rolex connectors and so on. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's pretty much it. So here's the quick unboxing. Let's mount these, uh, these memory and the actual cooler onto the uh, motherboard and then see how that looks. So see you in a bit. One of the main features of the Thermaltake Water RAM is the RGB lighting with 12 high lumens addressable LEDs offering up to 16.8 million colors. It's compatible with the TT RGB Plus software, Amazon Alexa voice service and Razer Chroma lighting. What's more, if you have a motherboard that features the 5 volt addressable RGB header, then it can be controlled by the ASUS AuraSync, Gigabyte RGB Fusion, MSI Mystic Light Sync and of course the ASRock Polychrome Sync. For overclocking, we managed to take these uh, modules to DDR4 3333. It's not a massive overclock, but it's an overclock nevertheless. With a full custom loop installed, I think you can actually overclock them further. The whole setup does look a bit weird if you have two memory modules fitted under the uh, water block, so I would recommend getting the 32 uh, gig kit instead. But of course, uh, you can actually use them the uh, traditional way without the water block, um, that'll be just fine. The Thermaltake Water RAM RGB is not everyone's cup of tea. But if you're like me, who loves RGB and want to water cool your RAM, then these memory kits is what you want. With all things considered, and for the performance of the RAM, we'll give it our recommendation. You can check out our full review on our website at funkykit.com. And there you have it. This is the Thermaltake Water RAM RGB liquid cooling memory in a 16GB memory kit offering a DDR4 3200 speeds. So I know most of you are not into water cooling and even with the water cooling uh, community out there some of you guys think well water cooling RAM it's a bit yeah and uh, especially with RGB but I'm an RGB fan and we're going to be fitting this in our new project uh, more details coming up soon but it'll be all fully RGB because I love RGB <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video give us a like and leave a comment down below you can actually buy this via the links in the description and uh, of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkKit.com.